Welcome back, folks. This is Sam, your host on the Aussie Screen Printers Club, Screen Printing Club. Uh, it's time for a Tips and Traps podcast. We do these as live videos sometimes on our YouTube channel. And they're just simple, short tips and traps, um, technologies, um, practices, and so on concerning screen printing to help people as they get going. And today, I thought I'd talk about film positives, the creation of film positives that you need to output to burn a screen in the traditional way. Um, and in particular, the types of printers you might want to use. So if you're just getting going, a couple of important tips, first of all, to understand that you are going to get a better result in burning a screen and in creating a darker ink if you use an inkjet printer to create your film, to output to film. You want to use proper inkjet film, don't just buy any old stuff, get along to a, a proper screen printing company that uh, sells um, supplies and sundries and make sure that you get um, real film. The film is um, coated on one side and smooth on the other. And the coated side is the side you want to print on and it's going to hold the ink for you. Uh, one of the most important things about choosing a printer is to make sure that you're going to be able to produce a film output in very dark, thick ink. Essentially, the thicker the ink is on the um, film, the less light that is going to go through it when you burn it uh, on your screen. And obviously, you don't want light to travel through the ink. So um, consider very carefully what type of printer you want to use. Uh, first, a second consideration, and I'll come on to the printers in a second, is whether you want to print on A4 or A3. Now, some of you might feel that A4 is probably all you're ever going to want, um, but I suspect you will find out quite quickly that you'll actually want to use um, print out on A3. And so um, look out for a printer that actually um, contains A3. Of course, you can use an A4 in an A3. So um, you can do both, but um, maybe start with an A3. Now, when we got going, we used Epson printers. And we started with a, a printer called the Epson XP900. And look, that was a pretty good printer. It really served us well. It had uh, good photo quality inks in it, so you could produce a really dark ink. Um, but it didn't. it wasn't really kind of durable enough for the kind of volume of inks that we were uh, putting through of, of prints that we were putting through so we need something a little bit more robust and so we upgraded from that to the Epson XP 15,000 and that was a lot more robust um, but it had limitations in terms of the types of um, separations that we use we do a fair amount of simulated process um, printing in other words lots and lots of colors on the press with tiny dots that need to be set up very carefully. And the RIP software, we use AccuRIP, didn't work very well with the Epson XP 15,000. Um, so we then upgraded from that to what has, I think, become something of an industry standard um, inkjet printer, which is the Canon IX 6860. Now this is a really nice printer. It's pretty cheap, first of all. Um, it works perfectly. We've never had any problems with ours. And it takes obviously the, the wide format A3 as well as A4. And it prints really quickly. And you can get a really dark layer um, of ink laid down onto the actual uh, film. So it produces a really nice uh, screen when you go to burn it. I recommend that uh, printer um, for people starting out. As I say, it's the cheapest you can get really but it's a really good quality printer. Now, in some cases, um, we have customers and many people have customers that require print that's bigger than an A3. Um, and so we also print to A2, which is twice the size of an A3 for certain types of prints. So we just have a wide print that's not very deep. Um, you are gonna be able to use an A3 horizontally to create your print but if you've got a wide print that is very deep as well you're going to struggle to get that on a single a3 and some people print it out in two and then they kind of sellotape them together and so on in the case of those types of prints for us we use a wide format printer 
And again, we use an Epson and it's a sure color uh, model. And we use the, the, the T3160, 3160. It's a network printer, it's wide format and it prints really well. And it also allows us to do simulated process. So if we need a big simulated process print, uh, we output to that um, or any kind of big print, to be honest, that's beyond day three. So those are the, the printers that we use. Um, take your time researching them. Uh, as I say, make sure you get something that's at least A3. You don't need to go in and spend a huge amount of money. Start with the Canon IX6860 and trial and error. Make sure you get um, the darkest ink you can on, on that uh, film. And um, yeah, don't, uh, don't just sort of do a few. Make sure you, you print loads and you really work out how to, to get the best result you can. Well, that's the end of this tips and traps session. Thanks for watching.